Lately, Colton has had an obsession with staying at Nanny and Papa's house. Staying over there most of Sunday didn't help that obsession either. But last night when they came over after dinner to drop something off, Colton was, again, fixed on the whole staying at Nanny and Papa's. But he wasn't trying to do it last night. He was trying to do it for tonight. So he's like, I'm going to stay at Nanny and Papa's tomorrow night. So this morning, he woke up at 5.30, came downstairs asking for Mommy, and Mommy went upstairs, put on his tablet again because that's what he wanted. And the whole time that she's helping him go back to bed, he just keeps saying, I'm going to stay at Nanny and Papa's tonight. I get to go stay at Nanny and Papa's tonight. So he was so excited that he may get to stay there tonight that he couldn't sleep anymore and he was up way too early. So it's really cute, but also a little annoying. Going to wake Caden up a little bit earlier than usual, actually letting him wake himself up because if I do that, he might be a little tired and maybe he might just nap during play school today. So, hey, buddy, it's time to get up. It's time to get up. <laughs> yeah, nobody likes to be woken up, I know. Is that really tickle? <laughs> Isn't that tickling? <laughs> now Hayden's turn. Let's get that diaper out of the way. There we go. Doesn't as like it as much as his brother. Playing with the music table. Does that mean you're excited to go to school? Yeah, I can swim in the water. That's a big water Mhm. Mm When we moved into this house, the room that Colton is now in, the back of the door has mirrors all over it. And that is obviously very dangerous with the boys constantly throwing things, hitting the doors, hitting the walls, slamming doors. So I just went ahead and bungeed it shut so they can't get to it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take the bungee off. And you can see we have Eight one foot by one foot mirrors glued to the door. So I'm going to see if I can remove them without damaging the mirrors too badly because I really don't want glass on the floor and without also damaging the door. All right, so first of all, in case we do break it, I've got the plastic sheet that Papa let me borrow for painting. I'm just gonna slide it under the door. Hopefully, that'll catch all the broken glass if we have it. I'm going to start by trying a wire to see if I can't just get the little sticky pad that's back there. I don't know if that'll even work.
on down. All eight mirrors are down and not a single one of them broke. I cannot believe that. You can see what the door looks like though. Got all that tape on there that I have to get off. And patch up a little hole in the door too. So I'm actually impressed. The uh, sticky tape that was used actually comes right off just by peeling it almost as if it were just a regular piece of tape. Of course, the first one I did was the easiest, came off all in one go. These take a few, few attempts, but it comes out quite easily. Let's see how the rest of them go. All right, not too bad. The majority of it came off. I will just sand the rest of it off when I paint the doors. Mel wants me to paint all the doors, so we no longer have the brown wood door. We have the dove white door like we do downstairs now. So. Going to go ahead and get the paint filler over the weekend and do that on Monday so it dries when they go to play school again. Last thing I need is their little fingers digging into that when it's wet. So I wouldn't be able to get to Home Depot and back in time to patch it up before it's time to go get them. So that's another time, another project. Because Colton's my observant child, I love to do a major change and then see his reaction because he usually notices before I even have to tell him anything. So the door has been tied open all this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and close it. So when he comes home, he should notice that, wait a second, that door hasn't been closed in a long time and he's going to come and check it out and see what's different. Found all the purple Christmas lights, or the Halloween lights. So I've just put an extension cord in here, and I'm going to do the entire foyer with purple lights. So our family room is nothing but orange lights. I figured the foyer would be perfect for purple lights. All right, the foyer is done. Come on in here. Goes up and around every door. I hope the boys enjoy this, especially when it gets dark. The only thing is I ran out just a couple of feet. So about three and a half, four feet right there is all that's missing lights. When he wants to go to Nanny and Papa's, he does not want to waste time. He is fussing the whole way home because I came to the house and not straight there. He thinks if he doesn't get there right away, he's not going to go at all. Take your shoes off, please. Take your shoes off, please. You have to take your shoes off first. We're not going anywhere until your mother comes home. Yes. Your mother wants to see you before you disappear tonight. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Go turn the lights on. Because I want you to see. Go turn the lights on. Go turn the lights on. Why would you do that one? Turn the lights on. Hey, come flip the switch. Come flip the switch. <laughs> Don't you want to flip the switch? Hey, hey. Oh, come on. You got one. He can have one. You each can have one. Thank you, Kate. Colton. Colton, go to the front door. That's purple. You did turn them on. You did turn them on, son. Doesn't that look neat? Doesn't that look neat? You will go to Nanny's, okay? You will. Just not yet. Easy. Easy. We don't want to rip them off the wall yet. Let me go ahead and fix that one. Really? Let's go upstairs. What do you think, Kate? Come on, bud. Time to see if he notices.
What? You can open and close your door now. What? You can open and close your door, see? Bye bye. No. You can open and close it now. Isn't that nice? That's Whoa. I had to get it out of the way. Why? Because you made a giant mess on the floor, I had to put it someplace. I filled up the tote. Your mother won't be happy, but I didn't want to take the time to organize it because I wouldn't have had enough time. Colton, can, can I want to say mom and daddy? Colton's going to stay in his house. Wait, Colton doesn't get to stay at Nanny and Papa's? But Caden come and stay. Col K sorry, you're right. Caden doesn't get to stay at Nanny and Papa's? Yeah. And yeah. Mommy and Daddy and stay in my house. Okay? And Mom, Keenan, and Colton stay in my house. Also, Caden is going with you. Mommy and Daddy stay in my house. Okay. Right, but Caden's going with you? Mm hmm I want to go now. Your brother's still napping. Why? Well, I know. I want to go now. I want to go now. I want to go now. <laughs> Do you know how you are when we wake you up from a nap? You're not very pleasant, so we're not going to wake your brother up. It's only 4.23, so I've been dealing with the constant begging for over two hours now. He's already bored with playing with the car, so he's grabbed himself a wipe. And he is cleaning the chairs at the table. Good job, Caden. That's my chair. That's your chair? I thought that was your mother's chair. Yeah, that's where you sat tonight. Yeah, that's where you sat tonight. You sat next to Mommy. Is that good ice cream, son? This is mint moose tracks, and I had the original moose tracks. I gave him a bite of mine, and he spit it right back out on the floor. And Mommy's, he can't get enough of it. Is it really that much better? Is it that much better? It is. <laughs> You're a happy little boy now, aren't you? Mmm. Mm. Uh -huh. Hey, Colossi. Hey, Colossi. You ready to try? Bye, bye. Say later. Bye.